Hello everyone, this is a quick tour review of the Catalonia Gran Costa Mujeres all-inclusive resort in Cancun, Mexico after having stayed there for 6 days. It is about a 39 minutes drive from the International Cancun Airport. It's pretty secluded and also actually very new. It's only been open for about 2-3 years I think. Um, there's also a lot of families that I noticed with their kids that stayed at this resort. Here's a map of this resort. It's not too huge. Um, there's about 2 swimming pools. A beach uh, on the right, the main entrance to the left, there is actually 16 restaurants, 5 food courts, a buffet, a snack bar, and a creperie. And honestly, the food and drinks were the highlight for me. There are so many restaurants and bars to choose from that I literally had something new to try every day. And the fact that it was all inclusive, I didn't have to worry about any additional cost except for the tips. So in this clip is 5th Avenue, which is pretty much named after the popular avenue in Playa de Carmen. This is pretty much where all the action happens, where you can find things from restaurants, bars, entertainment, and mini marts. Now onto the room. We got a family suite superior. Our room was located right next to 5th Avenue and the main entrance of the resort. Our room included two queen size beds, AC, scales, coffee machine, a safe, uh, ironing kit, a mini bar of all the drinks already included, a hair dryer, a walk-in closet that you just saw, here's the bathroom, free Wi-Fi, here are the showers with the rain head, um, the two queen size beds as we talked about, the living room with a smart TV, and here's the balcony with a view to the main entrance and 5th Avenue, there's also 24 hour room service that's included, AC and the do not disturb and please clean buttons. And on to the Grand Caribe Buffet where they have a wide range of international and local food. They also have a wood-fired pizza oven. But my favorite thing about this place is the show cooking area where they make fresh tacos from scratch on their stove tops. They also make meat or fish on their stove tops. They also have cold cuts, salad, bread, cheese, poke bowls, desserts french fries, hot dogs, pork, literally anything you could think of, they have it and they're open at breakfast, lunch and dinner at selected times. On to the a la carte restaurant. There's about 9 total but the one we went to is Ayami which is also a crowd favorite because you have the chef perform in front of you before cooking Asian style dish on the Tekanyaki grill. A quick tip if you're trying to book a restaurant um, is to book it 2 days in advance when the spots open up at midnight with the link that is sent to the car that's given to you through the front desk. If you're not sure just ask the front desk for help they'll be more than happy to help you but i do recommend you to sign up as soon as you can as the spots do tend to fill up quick pretty much within the hour of opening now if you're like me and you need your coffee fix there's a shop called aromes that's open throughout the day you can get coffee and small savory snacks uh, you can get pretty much an americano mocha frappuccino anything that you'd like they have it in this store now for my drinkers, the bars. There's literally one everywhere. The one you see on screen is the beach bar. Now this one's the sports bar that we didn't get a chance to go to as much as we'd like. And the swimmer bar, which is a huge crowd favorite on the main swimming pool. The tequila bar on 5th Avenue and the lobby bar right next to the lobby. The beach. But before you head to the beach, you're going to need to grab a towel which is located right next to the pool as you can see my friend Angel here. Once you grab your towel, you can head straight down this long walkway and see the beautiful view towards the beach. And as a side note, I noticed by watching other videos that people were asking about the amount of seaweed that gets accumulated at the beach. Honestly, out of the six days that we were there, there were two days that we did notice that it started piling up a little bit, but nothing to the point where it disrupted our experience at the beach. And honestly, um, when we did notice it, the next day, pretty much the seaweed was gone as the staff did make an effort to remove them. Now with regards to the chairs, we didn't have problem finding them in the afternoon, but I do notice that if you're there earlier in the morning, that it does tend to get filled up. And last important note is that there's not much shade when you're there, so maybe think of bringing shade to cover you guys. Now for some of the activities, if you do have a teen, there's a teen room where you could play chess, you could play the Switch, you could play billiards, you could play the Xbox or my favorite ping pong. Uh, on the beach, there's also other activities where they did host uh, a beach party as you can see in this clip. Uh, by the pool, they would also tend to host games from time to time. There's always something going on in this resort. And finally, the entertainment. If you don't find them performing in 5th Avenue like I showed in the beginning of this video, you can find them in the theater. On this night, they were doing a Disney themed performance. So there's literally something to do every night in this resort. If you want to see a more day in the life view of this resort or hear about the story about how the ice cream man from this resort gave me a gift, then click on this video.